and sketch the spectrum of the DSPSC signal 2 m of t cost 4000 phi t for the following message signals and here we have two message signals given uh, in this video I'm just gonna do the first one in my next video I will do the second one okay so in this video we are going to look at this message signal that is m of t is equal to sync square 100 phi t minus 55 okay this is a part a part we are doing so in order to in order to sketch the spectrum first we have to do the Fourier transform of this one so this one is sync square um, Fourier transform of sync square is a triangle so uh, if you draw the property of Fourier transform you will see something like that when you have a sync square and uh, here in this case that's 100 phi t whatever the value multiplied by 5 t will be the b, b value and that b value when you do the Fourier transform in the amplitude side you will get 1 over that b that is 1 over 100 and then triangle and then f over 2b that is 2 times 100 that is 200 in this case so from this one we can go ahead and draw the diagram so in this case this is going to be a triangle with the width of 200 because this one represents the total band so here we don't have any shift so this is going to be at the origin centered at the origin and the total band is going to be 200 so it's going to be 100 here and then 100 here and this is in the frequency domain and uh, this is m of t so the Fourier transform of this one is m of f okay this is in the frequency domain and this is the graph for m of f and this one represented in terms of frequency <coughs> okay and the height is going to be whatever the amplitude we have that is 1 over 100 in this case and that is our diagram now we can go ahead and apply this signal DSPSC signal that is 2 m of t cos 4000 phi t from the DSPSC signal we can right away find out uh, where it's going to be centered at by looking at this carrier frequency because DSPSC signal contains uh, m of t multiplied by c of t c of t is a carrier signal so if you remove m of t that's 2 cos 4000 phi t 2 cos 4000 phi t and if you write in this this one in terms of this is 2 phi f t this one is t so 2 phi f t so 2 cos if you take 2 phi then f is going to be 2000 that is where this is going to be centered at and t so from right away we can look at that but uh, in case if you want to express this one in Fourier transform and do it, then do it you can do that as well so if you do the Fourier transform of the given signal by Fourier transform then that is going to be DSP for the Fourier transform of the DSPSC spectrum that's going to be M and then F minus FC this is carrier frequency that is this one 2000 F minus FC and then plus M of F plus FC okay so this is the expression and then we already know that is shifted 2000 uh, 2000 frequency because we already know from the given one 4000 mean that is 2 phi ft so 2 times 2000 uh, phi, uh, phi t so 2000 is the frequency so what we have to do is uh, we have to draw the graph that is shifted 2000 unit to the right and 2000 unit to the left uh, for example to illustrate this one better I copy this one okay control C and I bring here 
and I move it's going to be centered at 2000 unit right and uh, left and 2000 unit right as well so let's assume it's centered at 2000 so the, here this is going to be negative 2000 and this is going to be positive 2000 and this is 100 less so that's going to be 1900 now and this one is 2100 this plus is not necessary so this is 1900 uh, this is 2100 and the middle line is not necessary it's just a triangle okay so it's going to be centered at 2000 this one is negative 2100 and this one is negative 1900 and the height is 1 over 100 okay and that's how uh, the diagram is going to look like and this one is also in terms of frequency and this one is dsv sc frequency domain okay and that's how we draw the diagram that's how we did determine the sketch of ske determine and sketch the spectrum of the dsv sc signal 2 mft and this that is this one okay I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you guys on my next video.